Hey guys, all right, we are back with another grocery haul video for you. And I'm super excited about today's haul because we actually managed to pick up a heap of markdown stuff. I'm gonna show all of it to you in a minute and I'm gonna let you know what I'm gonna do with it because all of this marked down stuff is short dated, but you'll be surprised at what you can chuck in your freezer and what you can do with it later on. So today's shop, we did shop Coles, Woolies and Aldi. We did the bulk of our shopping at Aldi and just picked up uh, the things that were marked down and the end on clearance and the things that were uh, this week's specials or lost leaders. Uh, so we've got the best price on everything that we picked up today and we spent a total of $152.55 for everything that you're going to see here today. So let's turn this around and have a look at what we picked up in today's grocery haul. Alright, so we do have a massive haul here today, so lots of things are on top of each other. I uh, only picked up two 3 litre milks from Aldi. We do still have some UHT milk in the cupboard, and I do want to start rotating through some of that. So I've only picked up two, and we'll start using up a bit of our UHT milk supply, so that we can replenish that a bit later on down the track, and we are keeping it fresh. Also picked up some wheat bix from Aldi. Um, for breakfast, we have lots of oats still, so uh, wheat bix and oats for breakfast. We have some yogurt in the freezer. We have tinned fruit in the pantry. So all of that will go together to make breakfasts this week. Did pick up another orange juice. Did need to um, uh, stock up on some things for the pantry. So uh, we have picked up a few things that are a bit unusual uh, in our weekly shop because we are restocking the pantry at the moment. So we have some sauces because we were running low on all of that sort of stuff. Uh, ketchup, smoky barbecue and American mustard just to uh, top up the stuff that we keep on hand all the time. Another block of cheese. We go through about a block of cheese a week. Um, what else we got? Sour cream there. No yogurt. We still have yogurt left over from last week. So we will use all of that up. It's not going to get us through the entire week, but it'll be enough to do a couple of days. And then I'll buy more yogurt next week. For the pantry, I've also picked up some black beans and some cashews. Um, so we're going to do a chicken and cashew stir fry. And I'm going to do some beans and rice for lunches with the black beans. Full priced meat. We did buy a small corned beef silver side. It's about a kilo there for $9. Uh, and one of our kids is going to have a go at making some beef jerky. So we're going to see how that goes this week. Also picked up a massive uh, pork shoulder. That is just under three kilos. And I am going to slow cook this and do a pulled pork. And we're going to get at least three meals out of this. So it was just over $20, but at $8, uh, was it $7.50 a kilo? Uh, that's not a bad price considering uh, we will get quite a few meals out of that, including uh, Friday this week, we are going to do a pulled pork nachos. So that'll be the first meal that'll come out of our pulled pork. All right, at the back, just a couple of loaves of bread. I think I've still got one in the freezer, but we are going to do some cooked lunches this week, so hopefully we won't use as much bread. Also picked up some oranges and mandarins, which is starting to come back into season. Uh, so we've got 1.5 kilos of navel oranges there for $5 from Aldi. And the mandarins were $4 for a kilo, so not too bad. Also picked up some bananas. They were a dollar ninety at Coles and Woolies today, so I grabbed these ones while we were in Coles. Also picked up um, an avocado because they are a good price at Coles and Woolies this week as well, a um, dollar ninety each. Tomatoes grabbed from Aldi. They're back to their fairly regular price of five dollars a kilo, which is good. And the iceberg lettuce was a good price at Aldi today too. That was $1.99. Grabbed the um, broccoli from Woolies today. That was the best price. Uh, that was actually $3.50 a kilo at Woolies. 
and two packets of white potatoes. Um, and they two kilo bags. They were three dollars fifty a bag at Coles today. So I grabbed two bags there. Um, we will do one of those will probably be, end up going into um, some soup. So I might do a potato soup and then a chicken and vegetable soup. Uh, so some potatoes for that. And the celery at the back was a really good price at Aldi today. I can't remember exactly how much. It was about $2. Uh, so that was another one of their special buys. So I grabbed one um, and I will dice all of that up and freeze it for when we are ready to use it. Um, what else did I pick up? Full price. Uh, sweet potatoes. A couple of kilos of sweet potatoes there. I think two kilos. Uh, they were $1.99 at Aldi. So again, um, I will use some of those in our meals, but I'll use the other half to make a sweet potato soup to go into the freezer. Getting down to this end is all of our crazy markdowns that we managed to pick up today. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. And let me tell you what I'm going to do with all of these. Um, I love these um, broccoli and cauliflower rice bags when they are crazy cheap. So 60 cents each. I grabbed all of them. And what I like to do is just chuck these straight in the freezer just as they are and then I use these to fill out a lot of our um, casseroles and spaghetti bolognese and, and any of those meals that you can sneak some cheeky sneaky <laughs> vegetables into and these are great they're so cheap uh, it makes those mince dishes like spaghetti bolognese go so much further and it's super cheap at 60 cents each they're fantastic I'm just going to chuck those straight in the freezer some other things that are going to go straight in the freezer too are all of these um, ham and chicken packets that were marked down that's honestly probably one day's worth of lunches for all of us so i will just chuck those straight in the freezer and then when we're ready to use them we'll pull them out the day before uh, thaw them out in the fridge and use them and they're fantastic so we've got ham and chicken quite a few packets there we also did pick up some uh, muffins today but as you can see Sean and I may have eaten one of those in the car on the way home <laughs> that was a little splurge that we didn't really need the other thing I've grabbed is these Chobani yogurt pouches that are 10 cents each um, I will probably chuck most of these in the freezer I might have one today but honestly I find yogurt goes a little bit further than it's used by date it is a best before date and it's the 20th of May so Maybe they won't go in the freezer. Maybe we'll just stick them in the fridge and I'll just have those over the next four days. I'm not sure yet at this stage. All right. Also grabbed some of these roast veggie pre-cut uh, packs for 90 cents. Uh, there is uh, beetroot. What is it? Beetroot, pumpkin, carrot, sweet potato and broccoli in there. Uh, and so I will roast those up. Um, and just use them um, I could even chuck them in casseroles and things like that that'd be great but particularly for a roast veggie toss with some vegetables or something like that that's fantastic and there's definitely enough there for two or three people I'm not sure what the serving size is on that I can't actually see it says it serves two but I think if we do some rice and some protein with that it'll go a lot further so I'm just going to chuck those in the freezer too and I will roast them up when we go to use them. Also picked up from Aldi some marinated chicken. We've got two different flavors. There is herb and lemon and somewhere there is a Moroccan, which I think is right down the bottom. Uh, and again, a really good price. I'm just gonna chuck those straight in the freezer until we are ready to use those. And they will probably go really well with our roast vegetables. It'll be fantastic. Uh, all right, let's dig down in here and see what else we've picked up today. We did pick up some chocolates. They're just going to go straight in the freezer like that. Crazy price marked down on this bacon. Um, and they are in pretty good portion sizes for us as it is. So I'm just going to chuck those straight in the freezer because I can just use one of those, pull one of those out when I need to use them. And they were only $1.98 at Coles today. And also picked up 
these little mixed packs there is um, chorizo salami um, um, so a hot a mild salami and ham and these are a great size for pizza night so I picked up about five or six of these these are going to go straight into the freezer as is and then when we go to do our pizza night we can pull one of these out and dice everything up and basically uh, we've got all of the the meat there that we'd need for our homemade pizzas which is fantastic and they were only 99 cents so I think I grabbed half of what was there there was actually there was heaps of these marked down and I've got one two three four five I've got five of those to go straight into the freezer as well all right to round out what we have here these weren't on special but it was the only spot I had left to chuck them um, is some corn chips for our Friday night fun night uh, which again I'm going to do the pulled pork and do those on um, the corn chips so we'll do like a pulled pork nachos uh, for Friday night fun night and the rest of this is pretty much all going to go in the freezer as is. It's in the perfect serving sizes for us, which is the most important thing, thing to think about when we're looking at buying things that are marked down is I want to be able to defrost them in the serving size that I'm going to use. So if they're really bulk ones, I will um, separate them out. Otherwise, Guys, these are all going to go straight into the freezer as is, which is fantastic. So that is everything that we picked up today um, for our grocery shop. This combined with the things that we already have in our freezer and our pantry uh, will see us out for the week. As you can see, I do like to pick up things on special and uh, stock up my freezer and I will work out how I'm going to use them later on down the track. But that's it for today, $152.55 across Coles, Woolworths and Aldi.